Okay, so what I've sort of done is I've sort of broken the stream down a bit and took some screenshots of some things that I think will be relevant, some things to sort of note down, and, uh, you know, something like that. So, the first sort of picture I've got is a picture of the harvesters. So, we obviously knew they are getting an upgrade, they were obviously going to get an increase in health and resources, how much they get, and whatever else. But, uh, yeah, 18 days, I mean, that is up for debate. I would like to see that decrease personally, but 18 days is a long time. Uh, 8.7 million energy, which means you can upgrade it, obviously, without uh, upgrading anything else. So, you know, 8.7 million you can sort of store now. Uh, and 80k Zen is quite cheap, but uh, personally, I might upgrade these eventually. To, if, if people start timing out, I might start upgrading these, but I do most of my... I get most of my resources from actually battling, so they're not vital. Don't use your skips on these guys. Don't, honestly. Um, I would probably leave these to last, to be honest with you, unless people are timing out, and then the HP comes into play. You know, it's an extra 1,000 HP... Uh, well, 1100, you know, and you times that by, is it 8? You know, that's an extra 8,000 HP that they've got to get through in the base. So, that will help in terms of time trap. But if you're not running a time trap, if, you know, people aren't timing out, there's no point in upgrading them really, guys. Honestly, you're going to get more res more, re um, more resources from, uh, you know, from your battles. So, but yeah, uh, but an upgrade in HP nonetheless. So, an upgrade to energy and storage is an LB 8,300 HP. So, I did say in my last stream that uh, Helm will do about 9,000 damage uh, per target. So, uh, a good tactic would be, you see a lot of these people will put these high HP buildings to the right of their base. So, when if your Titan loses, they're going to hit those. So, a good tactic for Helm could be, you can put Helm in that area there and he will literally wipe out that entire section. Uh, not including that he does good damage anyway, but you know, that's why we should vote for a five star hound. That's why But uh, you know, and again these time traps these all at high HP buildings if we do see time traps and a five star hound would be absolutely immense Not including obviously the range he has, but yeah big advocate myself for a five star hound And I've done a little poster a little promotional post that I need to look out for I sent it to Tex and I was like Tex you need to post this when we start voting for this five star uh, but yeah, vote for Hound. Vote for Hound. Vote for Hound. Vote for Hound. That's enough of that. <laughs> but you see there, uh, you know, five and a half million uh, per storage. Obviously, three storages, which means about uh, 15.9 uh, million energy I'm going to be able to store, which is an uh, upgrade from, I think it's about 11 mil now. So yeah, an 8,300 health. Same with the alloy storages, is that the same? So the next thing we saw was the missile launcher. So I've sort of written down a few uh, things. So looking at this, uh, the initial HP of a launch shot is 6,120. Uh, and here it shows 7,920. So, uh, you know, quite a decent upgrade. You know, quite a decent increase. Uh, you're looking at about a 30% HP increase, which is quite a lot, really, 30%. Uh, and you can see there, a lot more alloy than energy needed. Um, to upgrade that and 145,000 Zen, which is quite a bit really for a defense. It might not seem a lot, but when you times that by 10 12 defenses, it starts them out of like 2 million Zen you're gonna need, so it's quite a bit. Uh, not much of a damage increase, I mean, it's all right, yeah, but per second, um, but not so. But let's be honest, missile launchers don't hit hard, really, do they? Let's be honest, um, but it all depends on Prime League effects, really, doesn't it? Just saying. But yeah, look out for the new Prime League effects. They are in testing and looking uh, interesting. There you can see there, that's the upgrade from uh, 6120 to 7920. Uh, then we've got a uh, Harvester, same 80k and 8.7 million upgrade. Then we've got a Helios Harvester, so there won't be any upgrade to the uh, Helios Harvester. Uh, that will be as it is for the time being. Uh, then it sort of showed the colour change. It sort of showed the colour change of all the uh, HQ18 uh, variants. They didn't actually show, like, you know, what it will do. But just sort of showed the uh, colour change. 
Then we went on to the, the Autobots, and that showed a picture of the cannon. You only clicked on it quite quickly. But obviously, this has got an armor core, so I've had to do a bit of maths. But a cannon is currently 7,320 uh, health. Um, and the new health will be 9,804 without an armor core to give you an idea that will be the new uh, HP for armor uh, for, sorry for auto, auto cannons again you can see the values there that a lot of alloys so you're gonna find for defenses you're gonna need a lot of alloy so uh, you know I wouldn't go in there and spend loads of alloy on your wall straight away save a bit for defenses maybe uh, because what you don't want to do you don't want to run out because you got to think that I've had this in previous HQs where I've wanted to upgrade defense I've got no ally and I've had to battle and battle and battle and do quite a few battles and especially if you're not hitting zone 15 if you're hitting zone 14 that's gonna take a long time guys uh, and time away from everything else you know to get them resources and your base upgrade slows down so try and keep some ally in reserve so I'll be upgrading some walls uh, and again, we'll go from my base and I'll sort of explain what I'll be upgrading, maybe, and why. Uh, just a few thoughts and just about a few things. Um, but, uh, yeah. Then we've got the mortar. So the mortar will be increased, it looks like, from 6120 to 8760 to almost 9000 HP. Uh, so, again, the apes have sort of said that the, uh, you know, uh, the testing ground for this was... Uh, Prime League hard mode and that'll be the sort of new level so if you can one shot and take it out these in Prime League, hard, Prime League hard mode then you probably look at the uh, the same for the basics um, of um, you know Prime League bit of a clear picture there uh, then you can see there I mean this is not coming at the launch of HQ 18 uh, this should be in phase 2 I believe I think um, but yeah, sort of phase one, again, we're looking at mortars, uh, launchers, cannons. Uh, I imagine that, you know, everything else will come in phase two. So phase two, you will have a fully upgraded HQ-18 base. And then I imagine phase three will be HQ-18.5. So we'll actually see new defenses brought in phase three. It gives the apes time to build them and you know and whatever it gives them also time to see how HQ 18 settles in so I am glad to do it in stages I do agree with that uh, I just think that there should have been a bit more from phase one and then phase two and phase three could have been a bit smaller maybe um, but yeah I think now phase one and phase two is much 50 50 split where I would have preferred a 70% increase because it's, it's gonna be time as well before everyone upgrades these things it is gonna take time it's gonna be months before we see fully upgraded you know phase one bases so you know but uh, yeah this is great it's showing just a three percent troop hp increase uh not much an increase in dps uh just a three percent increase in health which is not that much to be honest with you i'm not impressed with that but again that's all down to testing i'll be suggesting a lot bigger troop hp personally i think it should be like 75 percent i really do think it should be a lot a lot higher um, and make outposts a bit more relevant again, a bit more dangerous. But uh, again, that, that's on bots and how they make them and, and decisions and all that. But yeah, but that's not on this release. That's to come later. Then we've got the motion sensing mines. So it was a bit unclear, but basically, uh, if you upgrade the mine, you can see there it's upgraded to 6.75 seconds. So I think as you upgrade the mine, it will increase the time that a bot is stuck in there and you can't transform which is all well and good but there are certain bots that negate these so blur and elita because of a core a core extends past the timer of a motion sensitive mine I imagine it still will so the question you got to ask is you know how are they going to counter blur you know these are not working as intended in that sense uh, even the upgrade you no know, the time will be relevant to flare mines they'll increase for longer and the um the glass gas mines so they're extending time but uh you know in terms of motion sensing mount grading them i don't think it'll do much for the msn i'm gonna do it in testing I'll, I'll grade one or two and see but i'll let you guys know but i don't think upgrading it to hit you 18 will do much for the msm again it all depends on what the titans will do to these as well but um, i'm not too sure about that but again they sort of said in the stream as well so they said in the stream that there might there won't be any new new defenses but there might be some new defenses so we will talk about that again shortly 